my name is Connor Coffin. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm a senior here in biology. My senior research project is this aquaponics project. And what aquaponics is, it's soilless fish cultivation. So what I'm doing here is testing two alternative growth methods for the herb basil. The best part about aquaponics, besides the rate of growth, the speed of growth, the size, the quality, is you don't just get plants, you also get fish. Here at BYU Hawaii, the cafeteria is making huge steps trying to be sustainable, trying to use the resources that we have here in the islands and not ship them over. We have a huge problem in Hawaii of trying to get everything from everywhere else and not getting it right here from the island. They're actually doing a test program right now because they're planning on building a larger aquaponics system. It's going to be about five times the size of this one. And uh, this is pretty much the test run to see if it's, it's worth their while. What I have is a dynamic gravel filtration bed. This first bed, the 55 gallon drum is totally filled with gravel. This gravel acts as a filter. We built here a siphon system. This here is the key to the siphon. What it does is as the water fills, uh, it creates a negative pressure bubble that actually sucks the water out when it reaches a certain level, uh, aerating the gravel. This gives the Gravel gives the plant's roots something to hold on to and also gives it some air at certain points. On the other side here, we have our uh, raft system. This is a very static system, meaning the water doesn't flow very much. Uh, what it is, is small three-inch cups. And they have a coconut fiber husk, and the roots of the plants can go right through the fiber, and they're dangled into the water. They're suspended right into the water itself. And there's 10 of these on this raft, and all it does is float right on top of the water. So there's very little movement at all. There is a small gravel insert here, because the gravel is very important for bacteria to be able to grow on, so that they can help keep the water clean. On the side here, we have dirt or soil gardening. I'll just pick up the largest one here. You can see the size difference. These plants were planted at exactly the same day. And you can see how much larger the aquaponics is from the soil. Uh, they grow pretty much from the studies that have been done about twice as fast with most plants without soil. What I really wanted to do was test which one of these methods is superior to the other. Aquaponics is such an important thing because you can get a huge biomass production in a really, really small area. Uh, for sustainability and for people that don't have much space, is you can grow in one-fifth the area, you can grow the same amount of biomass. Uh, you could do this in New York City on the top of your flat in a high-rise, or you could do it on an island, you could do it anywhere. It's uh, an incredible system.